In this video, the Certified Ethical Hacker, or CEH certification. If you've ever been curious about cybersecurity, hacking, or how to protect systems from cyber threats, this might be the perfect certification for you. I'm going to break down exactly what the CEH is, why it's worth getting, who it's for, how to prepare for it, and even some pros and cons. So grab a coffee, hit that like button if you're into tech, Python, programming, certs, and uh, let's get started. So first, let's talk about what the Certified Ethical Hacker Certification actually is. The CEH is a professional credential offered by the EC Council, which stands for the International Council of E-Commerce Consultants. It's designed for people who want to understand hacking, but from the good side. Instead of breaking into systems for malicious reasons, ethical hackers use the same techniques and tools that bad actors do to find vulnerabilities and help organizations secure their networks, data, and systems. Think of it like a white hat hacker's badge of honor. This certification shows employers that you know how hackers think, how they operate, and how to stop them before they cause damage. So why would you want to get the CEH? Why would you want this cert? Well, cybersecurity is one of the hottest fields right now, and it's only getting bigger. With cybercrime on the rise, companies of all sizes, from small startups to massive corporations, are desperate for skilled professionals who can protect their digital assets. The CEH opens doors to jobs like ethical hacker, pen tester, security analyst, or even cybersecurity consultant. It's not just about job opportunities, though. It's also about, about uh, staying ahead of the curve. Cyber threats are evolving fast, and understanding how hackers work gives you a massive edge in defending against them. Plus, it's just plain interesting. If you've ever wondered how hackers pull off those crazy breaches you read about in the news, the CEH will give you a front row seat to that world, but on the right side of the law. Now, who is this certification for? The CEH isn't just for tech wizards or people with years of experience, though it can definitely help if you've got some background in IT or networking. It's aimed at anyone interested in cybersecurity, whether you're a beginner looking to break into the field or a seasoned IT pro wanting to specialize in ethical hacking. You don't need a degree in computer science, but having a basic understanding of networks, operating systems, and security concepts will make the journey easier. The EC Council recommends having at least two years of experience in IT security before taking the exam. But they also offer a waiver program if you don't have that experience. More on that in a bit. So whether you're a curious newbie or a seasoned techie, the CEH could be a great fit. Let's dive into what the CEH actually covers. So the certification focuses on teaching you the mindset and methods of a hacker, but again, for good. The exam, which is based on the EC Council's Certified Ethical Hacker Syllabus, tests you on 20 key domains. These include things like footprinting, uh, reconnaissance, which is how uh, hackers gather info about a target, uh, scanning networks, finding vulnerabilities, enumeration, which is kind of digging deeper into systems, system hacking, exploiting weaknesses, and malware threats like viruses, worms, and trojans. You'll also learn about social engineering. That's when hackers trick people into giving up sensitive info, like through phishing emails, as well as denial of service attacks, session hijacking, and even how to hack web applications and wireless networks. It's a broad, hands-on look at the tools and techniques hackers use, from sniffing network traffic to cracking passwords. The CEH exam itself is a four-hour multiple-choice test with 125 questions. You need to score at least 70% to pass, and it's not an easy ride. The questions are designed to test your real-world understanding, not just memorization. The EC Council updates the exam regularly to keep up with new threats. 
so you'll be learning cutting edge stuff. Once you pass, you earn the CEH credential, which is a globally recognized and respected in the cybersecurity industry. But here's the catch. To maintain the certification, you'll need to continue, you'll need to earn continuing education credits or retake the exam every three years. It's their way of ensuring you stay sharp and up to date in a field that changes fast. So how do you prepare for the CEH? There's no one size fits all answer, but I can give you a roadmap here. So first, check if you meet the experience requirement two years in IT security. If not, you can apply for the EC Council's waiver, which lets you take the exam if you complete their official training or show equivalent knowledge. Most people opt for the official CEH training program, which is offered through EC Council accredited training providers, either in person or online. These courses typically run for five days and cover all 20 domains in depth with hands-on labs where you get to practice hacking techniques in a safe legal environment like using virtual machines to simulate attacks. The training costs around 2,500 to 3,500, depending on the provider and location, but it's a solid investment if you're serious. If you wanna save money or prefer self-study, you can go for the EC Council's self-paced learning options like their iLearn platform, or buy study materials like the official CEH Certified Ethical Hacker Review Guide and practice exams. You'll also find tons of free resources online, like YouTube tutorials, forums, and blogs, but be careful, not everything out there is accurate or up to date. Practice is key, so consider setting up your own lab with tools like Kali Linux, which is packed with hacking tools, and platforms like Try Hack Me or Hack the Box for hands-on challenges. The more you practice, the more confident you'll feel on exam day. So now let's talk about cost, which we mentioned briefly, but the CEH exam itself costs around $1,200 if you take it through the EC Council. Though prices can vary by region, by country, or if you bundle it with training. If you go the training route, you're looking at an investment of $3,000 to $5,000 total, including the exam fee. It's not cheap, but the payoff can be huge, Cybersecurity jobs can pay anywhere from 70 k to $150,000 a year or more, depending on your location, experience, and role. Plus, the skills that you learn are transferable across industries, from finance to healthcare to government. Now let's weigh the pros and cons. On the plus side, the CEH is a respected credential that can boost your career in cybersecurity. It's vendor neutral meaning it's not tied to any specific technology or company, so it's versatile and recognized worldwide. The knowledge you gain is practical. You're not just memorizing facts, you're learning how to think like a hacker, a hacker and protect real systems. And with the demand for cybersecurity pros skyrocketing, having the CEH on your resume can make you stand out in a crowded job market. But there are some downsides to consider. The CEH exam is tough. It's not just a walk in the park. You'll need to dedicate serious time and effort to study, especially if you're new to cybersecurity or don't have that two years of experience. The cost can also be a barrier for some people, and the ongoing requirement to earn credentials or retake the exam every three years adds to the commitment. Plus, while the CEH opens doors, it's not a golden ticket either. You'll still need hands-on experience and possibly other certs or skills to land top tier jobs. And by the way, on this channel, we have a whole bunch of other videos about other certifications that you might be interested in exploring. So please subscribe to the channel. And let's be real, ethical hacking isn't for everyone. It requires a curious mind, patience, and a willingness to dive into the nitty gritty of networks and systems, which can feel overwhelming if you're not tech savvy. One final note, the CEH comes with responsibilities. As an ethical hacker, you're bound by a code of ethics. You can't use your skills for illegal purposes or without permission. The, CE, the EC Council takes this seriously, and violating their code could mean losing your credential, your certification, or facing legal consequences. So it's not just about learning cool hacking tricks, it's about using them responsibly to protect, not harm. 
That's the Certified Ethical Hacker certification in a nutshell. If you're passionate about cybersecurity, love a challenge, and want a career that's in high demand, the CEH could be your ticket to an exciting future. Have you thought about getting into ethical hacking, or do you already work in cybersecurity? Let me know in the comments. I'd be curious to hear your thoughts. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more tech and career tips, programming tutorials, and hit that bell so you don't miss the next one. Until then, stay secure, and I'll catch you in the next video.